So just want to follow up, I mean one of the key is actually was raised as a question in the audience today, the busy business owner. Oh, you should really blog, that'd be very, really great for your, for your company and for promoting your business. And people go, I'm going to feed that in. What's some of the insider tricks as to how to actually do that and how to really fit it in and how to plan it so it has effect but doesn't steal your day? Yeah, so one of the tips I give businesses uh, is that you really need a champion within your business to take ownership of it. I think even a medium-sized business, a lot of people say, yeah, blog's a good idea, let's set one up, and they get it all set up, and then everyone looks around at each other and goes, who's going to create the content? So even if that's uh, an admin person who's going to crack the whip and get the CEO to write their blog post or to uh, almost direct things. Uh, they don't have to write it all, but they need to you know, have the deadlines in mind. I think then it's about trying to get in the mindset of what kind of content can we create from the workflow of our normal business. So a lot of the customer stories that you, you hear them all the time from your customers, yeah. but to be able to capture some of those and to be able to share them, um, to be able to show some of the workflow of your business, um, show behind the scenes. Uh, we've all got iPhones or, or smartphones in our pockets with video and, and pictures. That can be content. If you just know to start recording, um, these things that you take for granted that you do every day could actually be useful to, to your clients.